Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to connect pianos to your computer via uh, MIDI cables. Um, as you can see, I got two here. I got a uh, Technics XX P30 down on the bottom. It's a full 88 key weighted keyboard. Now the piano sound coming out of that is built into that keyboard. It's not through the MIDI. Um, so I have two sets of speakers. I have my computer speakers, which will play all my MIDI sounds. Um, through both of these pianos and then I got my bottom speakers down there that'll play just my piano sound um, depending on what I'm trying to do um, and then I have a M Audio Key Studio it's only a 49 key keyboard on top um, great little keyboard picked it up for 50 bucks at Best Buy okay to begin okay to begin uh, as you can see down here we have tons and tons of wires. Don't freak out. These are the only two cables you need to know about. Um, it is a USB to MIDI adapter. Um, so if you have the standard USB port just like, or a MIDI port like this, um, as you can see, hold on, right there. Okay. If you have those, and it says say in and out, um, you're going to want to get this type of adapter right here. And if you follow the cord, um, it just says MIDI uh, to USB in and out. It's got some lights, and it comes up to here to a USB port. Okay, they're pretty cheap. I think I picked mine up for like five, ten bucks online on eBay or something like that. So they're not expensive. Um, and really, most pianos nowadays honestly come with USB um, straight to the computer now. They don't really do the MIDI cables anymore. Um, at least for, you know, just a normal in-home uh, digital piano, so. But anyways, you can pick those up. Make sure that out goes to in and in goes to out. Um, just always remember that. So, as you can see here, this one says out right there, okay. I know it's kind of hard to see with my light. Alright, and then this right here says in right there, okay. So, this is going to plug into there and vice versa. Um, make sure the other side is going to say in on here. Let's see if I can get that. Alright. And you plug it into where it says out. Okay. And then you just plug it in. Alright. Now this little keyboard here um, just plugs in with the USB cable right there. Alright. And then just follow that cable all the way down. Plugs in right here. Okay. Now I have all this hooked up to an old, old, old computer. It's an HP Pavilion XT926, okay? This thing is older than most computers should legally be allowed. <laughs> because, I mean, this thing is just ancient. But I am running uh, Ubuntu on there. X-Ubuntu. Uh, the newest one. Okay. And let me turn off this light so you guys can see. Hold on. Okay. Now, I had to turn off the light so there wasn't glare. But you can see where it says applications right here. Okay. You click applications and it'll bring up a list. Scroll down to where it says multimedia and it'll bring up another list. And I always like to bring up ZYN add sub effects software synthesizer first. And then come back up to applications, go back down to multimedia and bring up Jack. Because you need Jack uh, as an audio server on um, Linux to be able to. Uh, produce the sounds uh, required so come down here to where it says connect click connect okay now most uh, Ubuntu computers are going to be running ALSA not Pulse Audio or anything else so click ALSA alright you'll see I have Key Studio and USB to MIDI adapter so the computer automatically recognizes and most uh, Windows computers should automatically recognize as well um, you know your your software, um, your not software, but uh, synthesizers and pianos that you have connected. Okay, and over here it says ZYN add some effects. So I'm going to click that once. I'm going to click the Key Studio once and come down here and click Connect. Now you'll see a little line connecting the two. Come back up here to where it says USB to MIDI adapter. Click it. Now this side's still already highlighted, so come back down here to connect and click it. Now you'll see two lines drawn. Okay, we can close this window. Now you'll see uh, I have the advanced mode opened up for the window 
um, you can open up the for this program right here you can actually open up the uh, switch user, user interface to beginner mode okay and click yes it's much more simple um, you know it's just a little little keyboard here and you can hear the sounds when I click with my mouse um, you can actually play with your your keyboard, um, like your desktop keyboard, not not a uh, piano keyboard. Um, but that's not what I want. Okay, so I'm more used to the advanced user mode, which is right here, which is the one that popped up first. Okay, and now we're gonna set some sounds. Um, one of my favorite sounds from this program, it, it is free. Uh, it's called ZYN Add Sub Effects. My favorite sound has got to be the organ, um, the great organ. Uh, it's one of the most realistic uh, sounds that this program offers. Um, you click that little button right there. Um, it's just a blank bar, or you could come up here to uh, instrument. And I believe one of these panels show instrument bank right there. We'll do the same thing. But I'm gonna come here. And I'm gonna click and go down to the William Godfrey. Uh, collection really awesome this program is free and worth just the sounds right here all right so we're gonna come down here and they got a whole set of organs but great organs the one that I want to select so I just click it once that's it no big deal okay so we're gonna hide this window real quick okay so now we have the great organ selected all right and now theoretically we should be able to just start playing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys over to the piano and uh, not really play any music, but just show you guys that the uh, latency, there's absolutely none, um, and just show you the sound quality, alright?